Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your first week of November general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. Now Libra, I feel like you guys have had this song before. And if you have, this could be a continuation of the message that you got for that reading. The song that I got was I Love Me Some Him by Tony Braxton. And Miss Tony Braxton happens to be your fellow Libran. So you guys could be feeling like this. This could be you saying like, I love this person. I adore this person. Now, even though the song is I Love Me Some Him, if you resonate with females and you are attracted or you date females, then just flip it and put it where it applies, okay? So let's see what we get for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. But I, I definitely got, um, what is it that I was hearing? Um, absolutely no one else compares. In the hook of the song, she says, I love me some him. I love me some him. I never love this way again. I love me some you. No one else will ever do. So I feel like you guys are like, no, I don't find my person. That's it and that's all. Also, if you're in separation from someone, you could be contemplating and really thinking about it. Like, you know, Nobody quite has my heart or will ever have my heart the way that this person does. Again, even though Tony Braxton is a Libra, this could, I strongly feel like this could be you thinking like this. This could be your person or someone that you're separated from as well thinking like that also. Okay? Yeah. Four of Swords, pull back, retreat, go within, taking a break. So you could definitely be on a break from someone or just recently broke up. Three of Swords right over his heart. Okay, you got the Four of Swords in totality, but... Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Sorrow, Sadness, and Grief. Yeah. This, this, you, could have been, you could have taken a break from someone. You you and this person could have been separated for four days, four weeks, four months. You and this person could have the first, middle, or last initial of F, R, O, S, or D. First, middle, or last initial for you or this person. Oh, wow. I'm not even getting that far in the deck. Look at that immediately. You're a major arcana. So I definitely feel like it could be you on the very first shuffle I got. And you guys see, I just parted randomly. Now, whenever I don't have a card in front, I get the card directly from the back. So let's see what we got here. Yep, this is you. You may be reaching out to someone, telling someone how you feel. Or you may have had to be the person to cut this individual off, okay? Queen of Swords, male or female, this is your energy. There you are, yep. A relationship that's on the rocks, okay? You got a ship being struck by lightning, yeah. Could have been involved with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries with the Emperor. You could be married to this person or in a long-term relationship. This person also, you could consider this person your twin flame, okay? Because this, this is definitely a twin flame here. You get it also. Someone's first, middle, last initial could be T-E-O-R-R. -R. Someone could work in the O-R, I'm getting that also. I'm also, usually this is like a karmic contract. I mean, somebody could have just recently graduated from some type of medical program. I'm getting that also. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. That's why I say I feel like nothing, it doesn't matter what's offered. Nothing equates to the connection that you have with this person, or at least so you feel. I also feel like somebody wants to make something whole again. The fact that that, that pinnacle is a circle is like something being whole, okay? Also, somebody's offering something. Now, also, I feel like if you were in a relationship that is on the rocks, I do feel like this person is coming in with some type of peace offering. There's a piece of coin there, especially if it's an earth sign. If it's an earth sign, you can expect this person trying to come back having some type of reconciliation, okay? Two of swords, confusion. You could be feeling confused. You got two of pinnacles here. Two of Swords. And also, if there was a separation between you and someone, I'm just going to say it. I know you guys hate it, but I look, I'm going to keep it funky. For some of you guys, it may have been that this person put you in a third party. The third party could also have been an Earth sign. Or something that happened at Earth sign season, specifically Virgo season. Virgo season is August, September time frame. And then also, let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Now, the Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. For some of y'all, you may feel like, I can no longer fight for this relationship. I'm done with it. Or at least that's how you felt at one point. Also, this is like not wanting to be so quick to, you know, express how you feel about this person. Because, see, there's a heart right by this horse's ears. And, you know, the saying, like, something kind of straight out of a horse's mouth. You could be born to year the horse. Your person could be born to year the horse. But more than anything, you could be kind of holding back how you feel. 
possibly because still thinking about how things happened in a past relationship, like when you expressed or shared how you felt and the candle just went out. So some of you guys, it could be a fire sign or there was an ending with a fire sign. But um, you could be holding back how you felt because you felt like you were moving too fast in the past and you don't want to scare this person off now. Because in the song, she said, I love me some him. I never love this way again. I love me some you. Another man will never do. Like, somebody could be falling for someone very, very hard, very fast. Some of you guys could have also met this person around your birthday, around Libra season as well. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Swords. Clarifying for the Queen of Swords from Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Okay. You got two cards that flipped up, so I'm taking them. Look at that. Nothing else flipped up. I just want to show you guys. So, I'm taking them. First card, Ace of Cups. That's what I'm saying. A lot of you guys have some strong feelings for somebody and you don't want to say it because you may feel like you're going to scare this person off. So, that's your energy, Swords. Okay? You got the Nine of Swords, so some of you guys could be a um, September Libra. Okay? But if you notice right here, it's like you want to share this offer of love or someone wants to share offer of love with you, but there's fear there. That, look at his hands and his head. There's fear. Also, if you're in separation because he's in this bed by himself, if there's separation, I am telling you, like, this person definitely wants to reach out. You already had the Ace of Pentacles, now you have the Ace of Cups. For some of you all, if you have had a separation with this person for a while, I feel like they're going to be reaching out before Scorpio season wraps up. They can reach out to you on a Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, or a Monday. I'm getting that also. Um, someone can have a bird tattoo on them, or they can have a name like Robin. And I, I want to say, I know Falcon is a bird, but I'm hearing Fallon. I know Fallon is not a bird name, but I'm hearing Fallon. Robin, Fallon. Yeah, I'm getting Robin real strong. Somebody could live in an area that's Robin's. A street name, something like that. Somebody could work at Baskin Robin. Something. I'm just getting something like that. Somebody's first date could have been like an ice cream date or something like that. I know that sounds really lame and cheesy, but yeah, it, it's real. I, with this, I definitely feel like there could be a separation with you and someone, and this person is stressed or you're stressed, okay? And and somebody's realizing, like, I would rather go through the storm because you have storm clouds back here. I would rather go through the storm with my person because I feel like that would make me happy versus being single and alone or being in separation from this person. Somebody has to drop their guards, possibly you. She has her sword of like she's on guard. Drop your guards with the one that you love. Now, that that wouldn't apply if this person put you in a third party or something like that. Because for some of you guys, this person put you in a third party. And so it's like, yeah, kick rocks, you know. But for others, I feel like it's, you know, somebody's just scared of sharing how they feel. Because they, they're scared they're going to scare. They're scared. I keep hearing scared. They're scared they're going to scare. Okay. They fear that they're going to scare you off. Or you fear that you're going to scare them off. Whatever the case, there's fear. This is fear. Okay. Is fear and then someone feeling lonely or somebody may have a fear of rejection. There also could be a situation where somebody just feels so strongly about you, but you don't, they know that you don't feel the same way. Somebody may already be in a relationship or a situation because you have a queen. A queen is typically always in a, a in some type of companionship already. So someone is just fearful, fearful of saying something because they know there's a high chance of them being rejected. Also fearful that they won't, um, be well received as well and fear of like going through something that they went through in a past relationship or situation as well. I'm, I'm getting a lot of scenarios here. You have to put it where it applies, but I can tell you for sure. Somebody definitely wants to offer some love to someone or express love to someone. That's for sure. Okay. So Libra, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well.